Is there an Indian version of Sephora, you ask? Yes, and it's called Nykaa. Nykaa is India's largest beauty destination, selling products across categories like beauty, wellness, as well as fashion. It provides its customers a multi-brand model and gives them the offer to choose by providing a range of over 2,000 brands, including its own. Unlike most tech startups, which are started by 30-something-year-olds, Nykaa was started in 2012 by Falguni Nair, a 50-year-old ex-investment banker. So why did she just quit her job and dive into building a startup? Well, at the time, she thought that the beauty market in India was small, inaccessible, and underpenetrated. And the conditions in India, with the advent of e-commerce, were just right to build a beauty brand. But given that players like Amazon and Flipkart were already selling all kinds of products, including beauty and fashion products, how did Nykaa end up becoming successful? To understand this, let's look at Nykaa's business model. So Nykaa buys its products directly from manufacturers and sells them directly to customers. This is different from a marketplace model that most other online retailers follow where third-party sellers are able to directly list their products on the company's website. So through this process, Nykaa is able to ensure that all of its products are authentic and most importantly, it's able to sell products at a great price. Secondly, Nykaa focuses on the mass market and has built a brand for Indian consumers. Because it focuses on the diversity, preferences, and trends of the Indian consumer, it has been able to reach consumers across smaller towns and cities. This is a key reason why Nykaa has been able to fend off competition from larger international brands such as Sephora. Thirdly, even though Nykaa started out as an online-only retailer, it has now built about 68 brick and mortar stores to complement its online shops. So this has effectively allowed it to do two things enhance the customer experience by providing them the opportunity to try products physically and it has also been able to introduce a premium range of brands which might be difficult to push online. So this online to offline experience is what we call an omni-channel approach. In essence, Nykaa has built an entire beauty experience by starting an online community curating expert videos and content, as well as starting a beauty helpline. It has also collaborated with celebrities like Katrina Kaif, who in addition to endorsing the brand, have also ended up investing in it. From a financial point of view, Nykaa has performed extremely well and reported revenues of almost $252 million for FY 2020, which was up by 60% from FY 2019. It has also reported an EBITDA of about $12 million for FY 2020, which essentially makes it one of the few profitable tech startups. What's also admirable is that Nykaa has chosen to grow organically and has only raised close to $127 million till date in funding, which is quite low for a company its size valued at $3.5 billion. Nykaa is also looking to IPO this year which will help it raise fresh funds and will also give its founder Falguni Nair a net worth of $1 billion, making her the second richest self-made woman in India today. The growth of the beauty market in India has attracted other homegrown players like Purple and Plum. And to fend off this new competition, Nykaa has diversified even further by starting Nykaa Men as well as becoming a fashion retailer. The Indian beauty market is expected to grow to $20 billion by 2025. And Nykaa with its innovation capabilities as well as strong talent pool is in a unique position to dominate.